This is Don with DRC. I'm gonna do a quick little video of my Volkswagen. I'm doing the brakes on it and I've got one pair of hands, mine. So this is uh, how you do it by yourself. I installed a new master brake cylinder in here, which is that piece right there. And then the brake connection is right here. And then we have another brake connection here and we have another brake connection there. And the two lines, you know, they come up over here, they come up over here and they hit the reservoir, which is right here. And you can see I have the cap off it right now, just for showing you what's going on. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to bleed your brakes by yourself, no pumping the pedals. And if you have problems with no fluid getting to your cylinders in the rear tires or front tires, this will take care of it for you. So all you're gonna need is a light. Um, you're gonna need a 7 16 wrench for these fittings here. And I went ahead and when I have it taken apart, I replaced the pipe, the tubing. That's 5 16 tubing. So you're gonna need like four, eight, uh, 10, 12, 16. And then if you wanna replace that there, you know, you're gonna probably need like two feet of 5 16 tubing. And then you're gonna need like 10 5 16 hose clamps. So this is my video on Volkswagen brake purge. And what we're gonna need is a, a compressor set to 15 pounds, a hose. You're gonna need a end that you can regulate the amount of air comes out through there. You're gonna need these parts up here. I picked up this OEM tool, one man brake bleeder kit. And it comes with this right here with a hose. This plugs right into the fitting for the brake bleed. This right here is a bottle that comes with it with a little magnet that you attach to your car when you're working with it. And this right here, this is sort of like a main part. This is the cap to the reservoir off my brake fluid. And you wanna make sure when you go out to buy brake fluid that the cap that's on the bottle, this fits on it to make this work. So I found that for a Volkswagen, this peak, so I found this peak brake fluid, this cap here is the same size as this cap here. So this fits on there. So it gives it a good tight fit. So when I go to the auto parts store, I take the cap with me and I fit it on the brake bottle, brake fluid bottle, and make sure it fits. When it fits, that's the kind you wanna buy because you're gonna need to use this cap here. This cap fits on the reservoir, and what I did was I drilled a hole in it, and I kept the gasket in there, and I blew, this is where I blew air into it to pressurize it. So what I needed was I got this here so I can stretch the hose open so it fits over the fitting. On a Volkswagen, you're gonna need a seventh, number seven millimeter wrench. You're gonna need a quarter inch bit on a drill motor so you can drill your hole. And uh, that's about all you're gonna need. So this right here, I just made my cap so it fits on here, fits on there. You can see the hole on there. And this goes down and it purges down through here. So once your cap is fit on there and you're good to go there, then you know these hoses right here, you're gonna fill up your brake fluid reservoir and the, the fluid should flow down in through that fitting there and in through that fitting right there. I replaced this master cylinder yesterday. And so it comes dry, of course, with no brake fluid in it. So you need to purge all the air out of there. So what I did was I loosened these fittings up here, one, two, three and the third one's right there and you want to loosen them all up and then have your compressor set to 10 psi you have your hole up here and then you have your air so what i did is i put a piece of paper towel over it so it wouldn't splash all over the place just in case it gets too high and then i just blow it in like that and that pressurizes the reservoir and this reservoir gets pressurized it pushes 
fluid down through your tubes and it pressurizes your fitting down here. So it blows brake fluid out here, here, and the one down there. So what you wanna do is just one, as soon as the brake fluid starts to flow out of that right there, go ahead and put that in and tighten it up. So once brake fluid comes out of there, put it back in and tighten it up. And same with all your, other, your two fittings too. And this is where you check for leaks also to make sure all these hose clamps are tight and everything's tight all the way up. I've got new hose clamps and new hoses. And then down at your brake cylinder on your brakes, you know what it's like underneath there. You wanna put this into your bleed, your bleed fitting on your brake so when you You put this in, you loosen up the fitting, the brake bleed fitting, and just leave it loose down there. And you stick this bottle higher than the brake fitting, and you just stick it to the side of your car like that, underneath the brake, um, underneath the car. This is connected to your bleed fitting, and it's loose. So once this is connected, and it's on there, and it's loose, you wanna make sure that bottle is empty, you want to make sure your reservoir is full. You go ahead and add air to your reservoir through your little hole up here that you drilled in your cap. And when you do that, it's going to force brake fluid through all your lines. So this right over here, there's my front right there. And it doesn't matter if you start at the front or start at the back. It doesn't matter because you're going to do a power purge on it anyways. So I started right here with the closest one here to me so I can look at it and watch it. And you, you push brake fluid through it until that bottle fills up about halfway. And then you know there's no more air in the lines. And then you, once you're done here at the front, you go ahead and move it to the other side over there. And once you're done with that other side over there, go to the back and purge each one individually until that, oh yeah, I'm sorry. So when you finish purging the front one here, this bottle should be about half full. You wanna go ahead and dump that liquid out, dump the brake fluid out, and move it to your next wheel with an empty bottle. And when you connect it to your next wheel for, with an empty bottle, connect it all up, loosen up the fitting, put your hose on it, and then pressurize your reservoir once you pressurize your reservoir, you want to keep it pressurized, really low pressure, because it doesn't take much. And you push five pounds, 10 pounds, until this bottle fills up halfway at the next wheel that you're working on over there. And once that bottle fills up halfway, you take it off and you tighten up the brake bleed fitting, you're done with that wheel. Then you go ahead and you move to the back and do the back wheels. You do all four wheels like that, you start with an empty bottle, push air through it until it fills halfway, then dump the bottle, move to the next wheel. Well, again, move to the next wheel. Each wheel you do, you want to start with an empty bottle. That way you know, you know how much brake fluid you push through there. When that bottle's full or halfway full, you know there's no air inside the brake lines. It's, it's clear, it's clean. You do, first you start here, you start at your brake cylinder, you loosen up your fittings, you bleed brake fluid out of there, make sure you put a rag under there. And then once those are all bled out, you tighten up the fittings, you go to the first wheel, second wheel, go to the rear wheel, go to the other rear wheel, tighten up your brake, your bleed fittings. And once you do all four wheels, you're done. There's no pumping brakes, there's nothing like that. Clean and easy, it's a power, pressurized brake fluid change. And then once you're done with your cap here, you can save it, but you can see it's got a hole in there. You can save it for a tool. You take your, your one fitting here, your cap for your reservoir, and you put your cap back on. You're done. You got no air in the brake lines. You've got some good tight brakes. So that's how you 
pressurize your brake cylinders and brake lines to purge all the air out of it. Um, that's how I did it and it worked out great. I didn't have to pump the brakes a bunch of times. I just went ahead and did this. Um, give yourself a floor jack, lift up each corner as you're up underneath there working and make sure you have yourself a jack stand under there for safety and a pair of safety glasses, plenty of lighting. And that's how I did the brakes. First thing you need to do is move your gas tank out of the way. So here's my gas tank. I've got it disconnected. You have your fitting here, fits here, and then your other hose here. Here's your two hoses here. They're just hose clamps that hold it on there. So I just popped the, loosened up the hose clamps, popped it off. Um, this gas tank, you need to make sure you got most of the gas out of it. You know, gas weighs eight pounds per gallon. So if you got five gallons in there, that's 45 pounds plus a 10 pound gas tank. It's like 50, 60 pounds. So you don't want to mess with it. So what I did, I went to Lowe's and picked up this siphon hose. And this siphon hose works very easy. You just pop that off. You slide that into your gas tank. You rock this back and forth. And when it rocks back and forth, there's a bearing inside here and it lets gas into the hose, but it doesn't let it back out. So once you rock it back and forth inside the gas tank, this fills up with gas. You're gonna, you're gonna have about this much inside the gas tank and you're just gonna rock it back and forth. And once the gas reaches up into here, you want to go ahead and drop it into your gas tank. You want to make sure your gas tank's lower than your, your tank in the Volkswagen. And that's how you siphon it out. And siphon out as much as you can. You want to disconnect the four bolts on the gas tank. There's one here, there's one there, there's one over there, and there's one in the front. And I have enough hose on my fuel pump so I can go ahead and just move my tank out of the way. So um, when I replace hoses, like on the fuel pump here, I go ahead and replace all the hoses and leave them long enough so you can move your gas tank around. So you can see I have plenty of, plenty of slack. So my gas tank comes right out. That's my video on doing a pressure purge on my brake system when changing out into a new master cylinder. So this is Don with DRC, showing you what I did. I hope you enjoy this, and I know it will make your job a lot easier when you go to change out your brake cylinder, your master cylinder. So uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Cheers.